Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky, and welcome to the first time that I have made a non-guide video in a little bit what a little bit of a while. Um, so anyway, today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's to you and yours if you have a significant other. Um, you know, make sure to spend today with her and not on this game or him. It could be a him. Who knows? It's always a possibility. Uh, but anyway, uh, I am just working on Slayer. For Valentine's Day, I thought I would do something really special and just slay all day, which is pretty much what I do most days. So I guess it's not really special. Um, but I did want to treat myself to a break from guide making because I have done, been doing a lot of guides lately, and I've just wanted to slay all day. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm treating myself to that. Um, I also think that I'm going to go out to eat tonight with myself and like go eat Chinese food or something because I've been really craving Chinese food. So that sounds good. Um, I've been eating a lot of McDonald's lately, which is really bad for you, but it's cheap, so that's why I eat it. Uh, but anyway, one thing that I did achieve pretty recently, today actually, earlier today, is 10,000 subscribers, so thank you a lot for that. Uh, I feel very, very kind of proud of my achievement lately, because I went from 7,000 subscribers. It took quite a while to get to, admittedly quite a while to get from 6,000 to 7,000 subscribers, because I can't... I kind of went through a bit of a lull with video making where I was not making very many interesting videos um, and they weren't getting much positive feedback or anything. But from 7,000 to 10,000 took hardly any time at all. And I really feel like um, that was a result of the effort that I've been putting in lately. I've been feeling a lot more motivated to make guides um, and a lot more motivated to make those guides um, re well researched and decent. Like if you've seen my fletching guide and my um, 99 ranging guide, 99 fletching, 99 ranging, I did put a lot of effort and research into them. Probably a lot more than I usually do with guides. Um, it takes more time, but at the same time, if I do make a guide, I want to make it right. Um, because in the past, I felt kind of bad when I uploaded a guide and then people like correct me in the comments um, with either something I forgot to put in the guide or something that I might have gotten wrong. So I made absolutely sure that that did not happen in the guides I have been making recently. So I guess I feel kind of good about myself for that. At the moment, I am killing skeletal wyverns, and this is one of my favorite tasks. And the reason why is it's a quite fast task. Um, Curadel doesn't assign very many of these, so it's usually only a 15 minute task or so. And you make quite a bit of money from it, you usually make like 500k or so from this task, um, and it's quite short as well, so it's good money per hour. And also you get so many Crimson Tribes, because these things drop two Crimsons at a time, um, and they also have like a 50% drop rate for Crimson Charms, so you can expect about one charm per kill. So that's quite good. I think for this task I had 58. Um, so I have 18 left to go, so I'm almost done with this task. Um, I didn't really plan on recording this task. I've been trying to get a Black Dragons task recently, um, and for whatever reason, Curdo will not assign me Black Dragons. I've been getting Blue Dragons and Eretz a lot. Hopefully that's how you pronounce Eretz, I don't know. Um, but those are like the by far the mo two most common tasks that I have been getting. Um, and I don't really seem to be getting a whole lot else, but unfortunately, uh, that's just the way things are. Eretz are really, really good. Uh, XP and money. Blue Dragons are good money and it's a quick task, so I can't argue too much. But anyway, uh, that's about all for that. One thing that I did want to, one thing that I did kind of want to mention really fast is if if you look at my inventory here and I price check an air rune, I just noticed this the other day. Um, they price check for 47 GP, and if you leave them in the GE a while, you can easily sell them for over 50. And I did some numbers, I crunched some numbers, I figured out that um doing a trip of air runes, like it with a I think large medium and giant pouch something like that it's like 45 seconds uh, to do a full trip of that with teleporting back to Varrock and then running to the air altar in Varrock and I believe at 99 runecrafting because obviously you make more air runes as your runecrafting level goes up at 99 runecrafting it's up to like three mil per hour just making air runes so I thought that was a little bit insane um, I'm definitely going to be making a money-making guide on air runes soon. Hopefully no one gets mad at me because I don't like want to ruin anyone's secret method or anything, but I don't feel too bad making money-making guides like that because, for one, I feel like um, the video isn't going to get a whole lot of views anyway, so it's not like a whole lot of people are going to go try it out. Uh, and for two, I don't see anyone crafting air runes. If there was a whole bunch of people crafting air runes, air runes would not be worth this much. So, anyway, that's kind of insane. If you want to go try out making air runes for profit, they are quite good right now. And I just noticed I have a sandwich right next to me. Um, 
I made my lunch a little bit ago and I just completely forgot about it because this is like my fifth take making this video. So I've just been having this delicious sandwich sitting next to me for like, I don't know, at least 15 minutes or so. So that's kind of worrying. Anyway, I've been eating so many like uh, just my favorite kind of sandwich is turkey and mayo and mustard and nothing else on like a hoagie roll. It's so good. And I had, um, unfortunately, these are quite expensive, but they have like jalapeno uh, spicy hoagie rolls where I live, and they're so good. They're like the best food in the world. They're delicious. And I would show you a picture if I could, but I don't have any kind of camera like other than my cellular device, my phone, if you don't know what that means. Um, and my phone has not only terrible quality, but I also lost the USB connector to it, so the only way to, um, I guess, transfer a photo from my phone to the computer would be through email, which is just kind of a hassle because the email on my phone is terrible. And the Wi-Fi here is really, really slow, so it takes forever to load the email page on my phone. Um, but anyway, I guess that's about all, you know, for this vlog. Um, unfortunately, you can't see my delicious sandwich, but trust me, it's going to be really good. I'm going to eat it after this after I, well, I, probably while I start rendering this video. Um, and anyway, I am working on, you know, Slayer right now, 41 million Slayer XP right now, working on that 200 mil, probably never get it, but who knows. Um, might as well do what you enjoy in this game, and hey, if it ends up becoming 200 mil someday, that's a great achievement. But, um, yeah, thank you guys a lot for 200 million subscribers, just kidding, for uh, 10,000 subscribers, which is almost as good. Um, and I'll see you guys again next guide. Leave a suggestion for what you guys would like that guide to be down in the comments. And if you don't leave one, it will be an Air Rune money-making guide. So, uh, yeah, that's about all. Thanks for watching and farewell.